تحطه في رحلتك باسم I knew it was you You're not the only one with eyes that see afar So, Tabed, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies Such is the life of a Rafiq Without my knowledge, huh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon It can be used for good or ill And the Order is using it for ill indeed What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go, spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. So, Naji, it looks like everything worked out in the end. The Bureau was not easy to convince, but I persisted. With training, my hands will grow steady and deadly. If you pursue your goal with such passion, you will surely succeed. Thank you for setting me on the right path, Basim. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Ah, Tebet, I would like to ask you something. Please, go ahead. What can you tell me about Ahmad ibn Musa? The son of a famous astronomer. Ahmed and his brothers excel at mathematics, invention, and scholarship. Together, they wrote the book of ingenious devices, describing their wonderful clockwork automata. What made him join our cause? The Banu Musa were once close to Al Mutawakhil but grew disgusted with the Abbasid Khilafah. What happened? They refused to discuss it, so I cannot say. There are many reasons to be disgusted with the Abbasids. Was there anything else? What is important in Abbasia? This district is the heart of learning in Baghdad. All the world's knowledge can be found here. Any key places to investigate? Follow the trail, wherever it leads. Besides the House of Wisdom, there are other vital landmarks. Be sure to visit the four markets, the observatory, and the Dome of the Ass. I remember the observatory well. I met the great astronomer Al Khawarizmi there when I was young. Excellent. Finally, if you need to soothe so muscles, a steam bath at the splendid Hammam of Abbasia is a joy. After a night of clamoring across rooftops, that sounds good. Was there anything else? Tell me more about yourself, Tabit. Me? <laughs> uh, not much to say. I love poetry. 
Is that enough? Come now. Do not be so modest. <sighs> As you wish. I come from Nubia, a dry land south of Egypt. My father sent me to Cairo to study Islam. There I learned a fiery sense of right from wrong. And the corruption in Cairo was very, very wrong. <sighs> we revolted. Our revolt failed and I fled to Baghdad. The Hidden Ones took me in and... Here I am. Someday you should tell the whole tale. Was there anything else? Thank you, Tabid. That is all for now. Ah, a book of poetry by the famed Arib al Ma'muniya. He truly is a fan. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Have you any new tools for me? Take a look. Is that it? Can you make this better? Here's what I have. Seen enough? Your help is invaluable. Goodbye. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. You have to do something. I better not use my weapons here. Thank you. 
Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. The translator? What is he still doing here? Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi. I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Hey, I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. House of Wisdom Boars collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmad and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan, or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, Sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. 
to leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. I doubt it. I can use my weapons again if needed. the bid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands, pilot of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears, from your wind-touched lips, the mirage's song, the kiss that grips. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahriman. Oh, 
Pardon me. Is Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside, if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you and I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the order in Abbasir. I need to hunt him down. The old fraud Fazil went into hiding. Exciting. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. Go, Enkidu. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. 
most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Use my weapons again if needed. use my weapons again if needed. Better not use my weapons here.
could be useful.
I'll teach you my shoulder fend. They always fall for it. Better not use my weapons here. Huh. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fazl's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. That 
book looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. Looks like somebody left a book in the stairwell. Hold on. Don't rip your guts out. I'll teach you my shoulder fence. They always fall for it. Save my backside. Too many times to count. <laughs> what? You're a pet! No. <laughs> this letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book.
An impressive volume. Written by Fazil Fahim. Could be his masterwork. Its title is... Those who came before are those who shall return. This has to be it. I better not use my weapons here. I wish to complain about the shortness of the lecture. I am profoundly unedified. Did you see the powerful terror on the great court? Gatekeeper, those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed! Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Oh my... 